Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining us after lunch. Um, to introduce ourselves quickly, uh, my name is Josh. I'm sales director at Lumen. I've got on stage with me Jan from T-Vision, who is the CEO and co-founder. Excitingly, and as you may have already heard, Lumen and T-Vision have formed a partnership whereby we're going to bring the worlds of TV and digital together when it comes to attention measurement. The aim of today's presentation is to showcase some of this data and talk a little more about our partnership. Oh. Cool. There is currently a big problem in our industry, and that is that we spend billions of dollars putting ads out into the world. But the reality is that many of these are not seen. The question that we've been asking ourselves for some time is, did our ads have the opportunity to be seen? But what I believe the question we should be asking ourselves is, was our ad actually seen? And if so, for how long? Lumen and T-Vision are specialists in helping you answer this question. For some time, Lumen have been collecting information about digital attention across desktop and mobile devices. Similarly, in the US, T-Vision collect data about attention on TV. This year, we launched the first panel in the UK consisting of 750 respondents where we are measuring attention across linear TV. In 2023, not only do we aim to double the size of our panel, but also we aim to offer insight on CTV as well. So how do these panels work? From a Lumen perspective, we have software that we give to our panelists which turns the webcam in their devices into sophisticated eye tracking technology. This tracks where people's eyes move in relation to the media that's on screen. With TV, we don't always have the luxury of integrated uh, webcams. And as such, working with T-Vision, we are sending our panelists physical hardware to put onto their main household TV. This not only measures whether or not people were in the room when the ads were playing, but more crucially than that, were they actually looking at the screen when the ads were playing? The data that Jan is about to take you through is groundbreaking, but in order to truly understand it, we first need to address the attention funnel. This looks at a group of any thousand impressions and goes far beyond simply looking at viewability. We look at the percentage of people that actually viewed the ad, i.e. looked at it, and the average time in which they looked at the ad for. By combining these two metrics, we're able to create something called an APM, or attentive seconds per thousand impressions. And it's this metric that we're going to use to normalize this data across all channels. With that said, I'm going to hand over to Jan to take you through this data. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. So um, why, why we need to care about attention? Because we're in advertising industry. The only reason why we run advertisement is we try to get audience attention. And historically, we've been used impression or viewability as the currency. But we do believe if we're able to measure attention, why not just use attention as, as the new matrix to optimize the media? So this chart basically shows the difference between the viewability and the viewing. Viewing here means eyes on screen attention. So as you can see here, there is a reasonably good amount of the difference between uh, viewability and the viewing that varies by the platform, right? The TV is roughly 50% uh, uh, eyes on screen attention. Some media is higher, some media is lower. But the key information we do want to share is more about the duration of the attention, the, the average viewing time. So if you look at this, the TV by far has the longest viewing time, uh, ranging from 10 to, to uh, 11 minutes, depends on the duration of the commercial. And uh, YouTube has a good amount of the duration, but the other platform, especially the digital banner ads, tend to have much lower uh, duration uh, from the attentive seconds point of view. Then, as Josh mentioned, the key matrix we try to get here is attentive CPM. So the next step is we combine the attentive seconds per 1,000 impression with CPM. So thanks to our friends at 
Ubiquity, uh, we got the CPM information here in the UK, and we overlay the CPM information on top of each media. Um, so uh, the, the attentive seconds per 1,000 impression, that's very similar to the duration of attentive seconds. And what we did is in the next slide, which is the key slide, we translate everything into cost per 1,000 attentive seconds, essentially ACPM. So this might be a bit counterintuitive slide for all of you because in the conventional wisdom, we always assume TVs is kind of the premium, a bit more expensive, and the banner ads is kind of very economical and uh, not that expensive. But if we all believe attention matters, attention is the key matrix for us to all advertise and optimize and plan, uh, this shows completely opposite view which means the TV appears to be the attention bargain and has much, much lower ACPM compared to any other medium. Mainly because TV per impression, it has much, much longer attentive seconds, uh, which is very interesting. So this comes from our brand new TV vision UK TV panel. Um, so we just did some quick analysis because this panel was set up in September. So, so what people ask us, right? Okay, so I know I understand attention matters, but how to optimize based on attention? Is there any room for us to optimize? The answer is yes. If you look at this based on the program or the channel or the day part, there's a huge amount of the variance within the attention uh, matrix. So the worst performing show only has 16% of the attention. The highest performing show has 60%. So there's a massive amount of the arbitrage opportunity for you to optimize and uh, really increase attention without increasing the budget. Uh, another uh, very quick uh, uh, data cut is by each day, uh, we do find that if you're wondering the productivity of your team, I mean, it looks like they do pay less attention during the weekday, so I guess they're still working from home. Uh, over the weekend, their attention tends to be higher, uh, which is quite similar to the US trend. Um, so, so uh, uh, I see Andy in the audience, but the, the, the why we're we talking about attention, right? Because attention matters. Attention does drive outcome. And this is the study uh, Lumen, us, and many, many other companies we did together with Attention Council. Attention does drive outcome, no matter it's the upper funnel brand matrix or engagement or the lower funnel matrix such as search, sales, et cetera. Okay, so at this point, hopefully you get excited about the attention data. Now the question is how you can get access to this data. So both Josh and I, we're gonna be around here, but now we have this data the first time in the UK across all the platform, including TV, including all the digital platform, and now we can cut this data by very granular manner. Not only uh, uh, the show and the day part, we can show the individual brand level campaign measurement, and we can cut that by audience, by part position, etc. And since this is a brand new panel, uh, we're happy to be flexible on the offering, uh, regardless it's a data licensing or a custom project, we're happy to engage. And both Josh and I, we're gonna be around uh, after today's presentation. So if you're interested in learning more, ping us. And thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>